The purpose of this video is to talk about plain text editing and to demonstrate a plain text editor known as Notepad that is pre-installed and comes free with any Windows computer. So first we need to very briefly understand why we need to use a plain text editor. And to do that I'm going to open up this Word document where I've typed the word hello and I've selected it. And as you look at it you may say that is a very plain unformatted document and this word is very plain. Surely something like this is okay. But if I really stop to look at it what I can see, notice it's selected, is that it already has a certain font and it has a certain size and it has a location. It's, it's one inch from the left margin, it's one inch down the page. And these are really uh, constraints, you could say. It means that any other tool that's used to read this document must have that Calibri font. It must understand that even the color of this is, is black and it's limited to being this certain size. And this is a problem across devices. It does can create an accessibility problem when you're trying to read something and, it, and the font is forced to this particular size. But that font may not even be recognized across different devices. So we want to strip away all that formatting and really make it plain. Now I want to demonstrate just a little bit further the formatting that's in there. So I've selected this. I'm just going to copy it. And I've opened up a website that's called word2html.net. And this is really just to show you, to demonstrate something. And I've clicked in here and uh, I'm going to control V, which is the paste option. And it gives me a little grief here. I'm going to start a new document and I'm going to control V. Okay, there, it did it. See how it says hello? And over here on, on this HTML editor side, it's showing me all the coding that was embedded and is still embedded in this simple word hello. It knows the font family. It has a certain height already for the line. It, it knows all these different things. And again, this creates a little bit of a problem. Now, I could come down here and click on clean up HTML, but I would have to then pay money to use this site. And some people do, and I guess that's great, um, but I tend to use something called Notepad. So on Windows, on any Windows computer, you can find it by searching your applications. What I tend to do is come down here in this left-hand corner, click where it says Type to Search, and I'm simply going to type Notepad, right? And then I'm going to click on Notepad. And Notepad is the no frills, you know, word processor. It, it's a text editor, a plain text editor. And when I say no frills, it has nothing, no indent, no bulleted list, no uh, fancy, you know, things associated with it because that's not its purpose. What I'm going to do is once again, I'm just going to edit and paste that exact same word, hello. And <clears throat> What that did when I pasted it is it stripped away all that formatting. And how do I know it did that? Because it's not powerful enough to support that. It doesn't have any frills. It doesn't understand Calibri. It doesn't understand a, a size 11. It doesn't even understand margins or anything like that. It just understood those characters. And so if I type in here or if I paste something in here, I can be assured that it is plain text. It is only the text. Now that I have it here, I need to make sure I select it again and copy it again because otherwise I still have that copy from Microsoft Word. So I'm selecting this and I'm just going to edit copy. Now I've just copied that plain text, right? So let's go back over here and uh, I'm going to create new document and I'm going to click here once again and control V. And do you see the difference? These codes simply mean that it's part of a paragraph and that's about as plain as you can get because any HTML has to be part of something and so it's part of a paragraph. But you'll notice that all of that other coding 
is not shown like it was before when we copied it from Microsoft Word. So why do you need to know that? Well, um, if you are going into the new syllabus system, and I'll just pick one of my uh, syllabi here, and I'm unfamiliar with this, I'm going to learn it just like you are, um, and you want to take information from your syllabus, which is maybe in Microsoft Word, maybe in some other you know, program, then when you paste, you want to make sure, I just selected it, that you are pasting that plain text. That is going to be a really important thing. I'm just trying to see if we can check that in any way because this is kind of new to me as well. Um, once this plain text is pasted into the box, I mean clearly I'm not going to type hello. <laughs> Maybe I will, I don't know. Um, but now you can be assured that you can begin formatting and that it will be formatted in a more accessible way. Okay, and so you want to use your knowledge of, you know, teaching online classes or using PAUSE so that you're not carrying with you all of that information that we saw before, for example, on your text, even if you think it's not formatted. So that's all there is to it. The plain text editor that you want to use is called Notepad. You access it by clicking in this type search. You just type Notepad. And how do you strip all that formatting away? Well, you copy from Word. That's the first step. Now that has all that formatting. You go to Notepad and you paste. You select whatever you've typed or copied in there again, copy, and then you would paste as plain text wherever you need that plain text. So I hope that's helpful and uh, good luck to you.